Hello, my name is Caroline, and in this video, I am doing a basic Raspberry Pi 4 setup on the Raspbian Buster operating system. Now, I have covered Raspbian Buster and the Raspberry Pi 4 in previous videos. I'll link to those below. The reason I am covering it again today is because raspberrypi.org just came out with a new way to install Raspbian Buster on your micro SD card for your Raspberry Pi 4, for your Raspberry Pi 3, for your Raspberry Pi 3A, for your Raspberry Pi 0W, which is significantly easier than any way we've done it previously. Now, I remember buying my first Raspberry Pi 3. It came with something called Nobes, and it was kind of an image that was already on the micro SD card, and I just put it in my Raspberry Pi 3, and it just kind of self-installed. And after that, then you either have to go out and buy more micro SD cards with the nobs already pre-installed, which makes them a little bit more expensive, or you can just go to your you know, local micro center or Best Buy or any store or online, buy a bunch of micro SD cards, and then you can, from your home, be able to install the Raspbian operating system on the micro SD card and then just pop it into your Raspberry Pi and then you can just get started. And that's really, you know, it's really almost like a hard drive, these micro SD cards. And if you mess up your micro SD card, you can just reformat. And I've done that a ton of times. I've done a ton of projects on Raspberry Pi on this channel. I will link to a, an entire playlist where I've done a bunch of projects on Raspberry Pi on this channel. Now, when I first started showing Raspberry Pi projects on my channel, I would go through like, hey, here's my laptop, here's how I got Raspbian on my computer, and it would just take forever for me to actually get to the point. The point being that let's just get started on the actual tutorial itself. Most of my tutorials that I show on this channel with a Raspberry Pi is from the Raspbian Buster or just Raspbian operating system. And you'll need to know how to put the Raspbian operating system on a micro SD card and pop it into your Raspberry Pi in order to actually start the tutorial. So what I'm gonna be doing going forward is referring to this video as how to do a basic Raspbian install and getting your Raspberry Pi started up and then you, we can move on with the actual tutorial for that project. How's that sound? Now, let's get started. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is go on my computer. I'm starting a screen record on my computer. Right now, I'm gonna go to raspberrypi.org and you should, everybody should have raspberrypi.org memorized or bookmarked on their browser and you get a ton of information, Raspberry Pi, and things that you can learn. And this is just a great website just to explore on your own. Now, let's get to the good part, which is you want to install the Raspbian operating system. And I'm gonna go to Downloads. And then, now, this is brand new as of, I guess, last week when I saw this. Um, it is Raspbian is the official operating system, and now they've got an imager specific for Windows, Mac, or Ubuntu. So I'm on a Mac, I'm gonna hit imager for Mac, and I'm gonna download the imager. All right, that looked pretty simple. It's right here, I'm gonna open it, and it's basically gonna install itself. Then I need to, I'm gonna put it into my applications, and now I've got an app on my Mac that is the Raspberry Pi imager. So how do I go find that? I'm gonna go down to Launchpad, Applications, and I should see a Raspberry Pi imager somewhere. Oh, here it is, I found it. All right, Raspberry Pi imager. Am I sure I wanna open this? I'm gonna hit Open, and then now I can choose my system, choose my SD card, and then write. So what do I need to do for the next part of this project? Now I need a micro SD card. And here is the micro SD card. So I've got a micro SD card. You need a minimum of an eight gigabyte micro SD card. Class 10 is recommended. On my little computer here, there is a SD card slot. This is gonna vary from computer to computer depending on what you have. But essentially you need to insert your micro SD card into your computer. And I'm gonna uh, just pop it into the slot here. A lot of the newer computers also have a micro SD card just slot just built in, or you can buy a USB you know, connector or something. I'll, I'll link to some options below if you do need to be able to get your micro SD card into your computer. So this is just your regular everyday computer that you're using. We're not up to the Raspberry Pi part yet. All right, so I'm gonna choose an operating system. 
click Choose OS, and you've got your choice of Raspbian, the default Raspbian Other. Now let me let me check this out here for a second. So this is the port of Raspbian Lite, no desktop environment. I don't recommend that one. And then there's there's a full one with a bunch of applications on it. I don't recommend that either. That's why it's not on the main thing here. So I am going to hit Raspbian, the first choice. And then now I'm gonna choose my SD card. And I just inserted my micro SD card into my computer. This is it, I'm gonna select that. And then I'm gonna hit write. And then you need to have your password, you need to have admin capabilities on the computer you're doing this on in order for this to work. And I'm gonna hit okay. And then I would like access to my removable volume. So you, this is where if you've got a bunch of other hard drives, those portable hard drives, you know, two terabyte, four terabyte hard drives, this is where you wanna make sure you're not choosing one of those. You wanna choose the actual micro SD card that you have inserted into your computer. If you wanna be super safe, just disconnect all of your other hard drives before popping in your micro SD card. That's one option, but this is just saying, hey, are you really sure you wanna do this? I'm gonna hit okay. And then it's going to write, and then it's gonna do a verify. That is step one of getting Raspbian operating system on your Raspberry Pi. And this will take a few minutes, so I'm gonna leave and I will be right back when this finishes. And then we'll set up our Raspberry Pi. And we are back. Raspbian has been written to my micro SD card. I can remove it from the reader. I'm gonna hit continue and I'm removing it from the reader. I have it in this little sleeve. I have my micro SD card ready to go now. Uh, that was pretty easy. And then we're gonna insert it into my Raspberry Pi 4 here. And then we're gonna attach this. I'm gonna put away my computer. And now let's put together our Raspberry Pi 3. And the first thing I need is I need to connect it to an HDMI monitor. And here's my HDMI monitor. For the Raspberry Pi 4, you'll need a micro HDMI to HDMI converter. And if you wanna do two screens, which is what's so awesome about the Raspberry Pi 4, you'll need two of these and two screens and you know two HDMI cables. So let's plug this one in. I'm gonna plug this into the zero, and these are marked. And then I'm going to plug this into HDMI. All right, so I've got HDMI got the micro SD card and then we'll need a mouse and keyboard so I've got a mouse and keyboard wireless and a dongle so I'll plug that into one of my USB ports it doesn't really matter which one I don't think and I've got my mouse and keyboard here ready to go so let's that's that and last but not least I'll need to power up my Pi for Raspberry Pi 4 we do use a USB-C power connector and I will just plug it in right here and that should power up my Pi and let's see this uh, screen come to life here. All right, I think it is, I think it's starting to work. And we're gonna run through a basic setup of the Raspbian operating system when it loads up for the first time after you have formatted your micro SD card on your computer. And this is what it looks like. It's gonna go through a setup process wizard now. So here we are with the wizard. I'm gonna hit next. Me, personally, I'm in the United States. I've selected the United States. I've selected American English. I have selected New York. I'm on the East Coast. Now, this will vary for you and what you need to do. So select correct things. I'm gonna use American English and I'm gonna use a US keyboard. That's what this is, a US keyboard. And now we're gonna hit next. Now it wants me to set up a password for my Raspberry Pi for admin purposes. Generally speaking, when you start this up, if you, you can bypass the screen if you want to, and then your password will be Raspberry. But for security purposes, highly recommend you set up a password. And then we'll hit next. Then this is checking to make sure your screen looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit next. It looks great on my little HDMI monitor here. And now we wanna get this on Wi-Fi. Yes, very important. Uh, most of the projects I do, if not all the projects I do, do require a Wi-Fi connection. Select my Wi-Fi, hit next. Enter in my Wi-Fi password, hit next. It's gonna get myself on the Wi-Fi. Hopefully I've typed in the password correctly. And now this is a good idea. You wanna update your software to the latest version. I'm gonna hit next. And this is gonna take a few minutes and it's gonna to check to make sure I've got the latest software, the latest version of Raspbian on my Raspberry Pi. And we are back. 
and my Raspberry Pi is updated now with the latest version of Raspbian. And I am just gonna hit restart right now and that should just restart my Raspberry Pi and I'll be ready to go. And that is a basic setup of the Raspberry Pi on the Raspbian operating system, specifically Raspbian Buster is what we are using right now. It is 2020 and I'm sure things are gonna get updated this year and I think it'll be great. But for right now, if I am referring to, hey, let's do a basic setup for a Raspberry Pi 4, this is what I'm referring to. And it's great that Raspberry organization has come out with an even easier way to set up our Raspberry Pi 4s. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye now.